Hello and welcome to the live reporting of Euroshop 2023. It's the first kickoff, let's say post pandemic. And as anybody that was here exactly three years ago, these two shows really are perfect bookends of before and after pandemic, the changes we've experienced within the retailing world and how the retailing sector is really bouncing back and adjusting to new realities. An absolute explosion in online ordering and home delivery, and then kind of a quiet period in stationary retail. Um, and now we're coming back into a, a spot where we need to make retailing uh, in person more engaging, uh, increase dwell times, and really reach out to customers to make their experiences as positive as possible. We're here at the stand of ETAB. The show has just started, but already, as you can see, it's absolutely full of people. I hope we can uh, actually get a bit of a tour and find out what's going on here. Uh, Chris, explain a little bit about your uh, role with the company. Hi, yeah, so my role uh, is essentially the group commercial uh, vice president. So essentially my role is to ensure that spaces like this come together. So creating these kind of zones uh, to ensure that we can bring what we believe is right for the consumer and the customer to life really. Bring bring to life in store experiences. So that, that's kind of my end-to-end -end role. And as you can hopefully see from the stand, you know, we're really proud of what we've done for our customers today. Um, we've essentially created a, a great experience around basically scene setting the experience of what you know the customer would shop the end-to-end -end journey from grocery through to home improvement pharmacy and fashion but we've, we've reflected the actual journey you'd see and experience as a customer throughout the whole store you know from if you take grocery over here uh, essentially as you enter the store you know as you work work your way through bakery and the grocery you know, you see a crowd here around the beer, wines and spirits, a great solution here. It's all about fraud detection, which is reflecting the current challenges the retailers have today. You know, if you look at the customer, the challenges with uh, cost of living, inflation, you know, there's some challenges on uh, increasing loss. So essentially, we've got some solutions that will really help the retailer control that loss, but also improve their efficiency because cost is key. And, you know, our stand, uh, essentially what we've designed here, is something that's on point with the challenges that uh, essentially the retailers have today. So it's on point in terms of cost conscious, being humble, being honest and sustainable. You know, we really are key on sustainability and ensuring that our carbon footprint of what we demonstrate and what we actually say is illustrated in our look and feel and fixtures and fittings. Now, due to the pandemic, like I said in the introduction, there's been a huge move to online retailing, home delivery. Uh, you're a company okay with, with grocery. Um, people are mostly shopping still in grocery in person. How is it, uh, what do you have to do as a company to offer your customers an experience to get them to engage in person with the retailing experience and actually you know, get them out from behind their computer, out from home? Yeah, absolutely. To ensure we can actually get them into the store, we create an end-to-end seamless experience. We want to create those moments of delight, those um, you know, moments of truth. So we ensure that we don't just look at the in-store experience, we look at the end-to-end because you, know, you, you start your experience no matter these days what you purchase, probably in your armchair, on your phone. Mm -hmm. So we ensure that the, the whole e-com uh, connected journey, uh, what we create essentially is taking that end-to-end -end into uh, kind of connection really but ensuring that when they get into store what we demonstrate and what we provide our uh, retailer customers essentially bring it bring it to life mm -hmm. from lighting to interiors to retail tech and you'll see that in our stand today you'll see that you know those three portfolio items I've mentioned they're all interconnected and they're seamless mm -hmm. so it's a seamless journey and we have an example of that here I, I notice you have many different platforms many different settings that you're showing um what what's behind them what are you trying to uh, demonstrate or show to to visitors at the stand there's a number of things we're trying to demonstrate here because every retailer has got their own challenge so we've got solution design that essentially gets under the skin of what their challenges are design thinking right through to connected services how can we actually connect the, the retailer for end to end but you know the heart of what we're demonstrating, there's so much great stuff we've got on our stands. We kind of, you know, ensure that the value proposition, there's four key things that all of our solutions, you know, are designed to do. It's designed to improve the overall experience of the consumer and customer, increase sales conversion, improve the efficiency and improve uh, operational efficiency. So, you know, to answer that question, if you come into our self-checkout area, you know, we've got some new solutions we've just released today. Sigma 2 is one of them, which is our guidance gate. Come and see it. It's all about ensuring that it gets those four points across. Experience, efficiency, ensuring that we drive sales and conversion and 
most importantly with our gates, reducing uh, the potential loss. Great. Uh, a, a clear explanation of what you're demonstrating at the stand. And it is, even though the show's just started, it is absolutely full here, which is great to see. Yeah. Um, going forward, um, in, in your position in commercial development, where do you see the strengths of your company? How do you see those fitting in with the continuing changes in retailing going forward? Yeah, so how we, how we do that is, um, you know, we've just gone past the speaker's corner. We, we're experts in what we do, but we're better with our partners. So we've got a lot of international speakers that look at future trends, they look at foresight. So what we do is we partner with them and we ensure that where the future of retail is going is ensuring that we can be part of that and we can evolve that and mold that for our customers. So essentially, obviously there's lots of challenges we have right now, but we really want to be part of driving that experience in store. Mm -hmm. Creating that heart of the in-store, driving those sales. So commercial development's essentially driving that with our with our retail partners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's absolutely the core of your business, right? That's your expertise, and, and that's how you're going to be successful. Chris, thank you so much for finding the time to speak with us today, and uh, great luck at the show. An amazing stand, as always, ETAB at the Euro okay. Shop. Thanks for joining us. Great, thank you, thank you. So, uh, great way to start with ETAB. Uh, definitely a, a market leader uh, in shop fitting and everything that, that stands behind that, from ideation, consultation, design, manufacturing, implementation. Um, we're moving on to a company that caught my eye earlier that is much more specialized. It's engaging shoppers, yes, but uh, indirectly and with, with a look into the future. Um, they're a company that deals uh, with the design and implementation of play areas for children, something near and dear to my heart as somebody who had to suffer through a lot of shopping experiences with little kids. Um, if we can find uh, time to speak with somebody from International Kids Concepts. Um, hi, hi, how are you guys? Good morning. Hi, welcome. We're going to try to get a word with Frank. If I can pull him away, is that going to be possible? I know he wanted to speak with us. Well, here, what, just to start with you, um, uh, the, the background of the company, what your history is and what you offer. We offer uh, children's play corner, so play corners for children. Uh, and our goal is, our, our mission is to make uh, children happy and by making children happy to make the world a better place. Mm -hmm. So we believe that um, when we provide a play ground or a play corner for children, they can be thus themselves, they can play and they can uh, develop themselves in an uh, in a way uh, that make them a better person. Mm -hmm. and that, that's fine, but uh, retailing is, is it's profit driven. It's not yeah. kindergarten, so to speak. No. Um, what's what's the mo what's the motivation for brands and individual retailers to engage with you and pay probably decent money to to implement your systems? The the most reason is a uh, branding, so we can provide like. Some, uh, for example, this one, uh, it's branding, fully branded on the uh, supermarket. It's Albert Heijn, it's a Dutch supermarket. So we can uh, provide uh, full branding from the kids' corner. And But the most um, drive for our customers is to keep the parents longer in the shop. And when, they, when the parents are longer in the shop, they will spend more money. The uh, people have more time to explain their product, to explain what they are doing by selling mm -hmm. um, because there's there's uh, the children are busy and they're playing playing they're happy so that gives uh, the shop the time uh, to sell their product mm -hmm. so that's the most uh, important reason uh, so so in to, to choose our, our product yes increased well time increased cart size uh, automatic uh, more more profit uh, potentially and also also a, a happy memory um, I don't know if you have children yourselves but when I visit some uh, store with my daughter and she has a lovely time she wants to go back and me as a mom I will say okay uh, we will go there as long as you're happy and you have a, a great time so it's also the return on investment that makes our customers yeah buying our uh, kids corners i can speak from experience uh, shoe shopping <laughs> with my children yeah, yeah. we always went to the same shop it didn't have the best shoes the best price but it had a kids corner with an interactive display in that and we would go there every time only for that reason to be perfectly honest and that's, and that's our goal that's our main goal to help our clients so the the retail stores to provide this uh, this feeling and this reason for their customers to come back mm -hmm.
and that's the return on investment. How do brands and individual retailers interact with you? What's kind of the the uh, uh, implementation process from first meeting to design and then build? Uh, it depends. It depends on the uh, the space they have, uh, but mostly we start with uh, with uh, sharing the ideas and uh, the goals that they have, um, and the ideas with our designers to see. Um, how can we possibly make your brand um, fully in our kids corner so we so you have the uh, the branding of your um, your store in the kids corner so your uh, smallest children your smallest clients your new clients your future clients will recognize your brand and that's 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 the first and then we will see okay uh, how which products do you want to have in your store is it the digital is it uh, analog uh, how long do you want your customers to stay in your store uh, which size you have so uh, square meters what what do you have uh, available and then we make a design and when uh, together and when we um, have this design and the customer says oh wow this is what we want we we start to producing process and um, because we have the whole um, uh, chain in our own hands we can we we can make it happen um, and if the production is ready we install it ourselves as well so from A to Z mm -hmm. we will uh, yeah turnkey um, make the solution great Corey thank you for joining us today thank you so much uh, for your time. and I for I hope you have a, a great Euro shop uh, in 2023 thank you. and if I, if I can um, at least invite you to play a game and to set to set a high score um, you're very welcome I'll come back and do that thank you very much Corey thank you so much have a nice day so there it is, uh, from, from the largest uh, to a very intricate and specific uh, supplier here at the Euroshop 2023. Um, the place is already filling up here. Uh, come on down to Euroshop this year. It's very important for us to come back together, especially in this time when everything is in flux, everything is in question, and everybody's looking for solutions to engage with and be successful in the future. Uh, see you back here on this channel as we're doing uh, reporting from multiple different themes at the show, speaking to uh, myriad exhibitors, uh, experts in the field. Uh, so stay with us on this channel and more importantly, come to Dusseldorf yourself and uh, get a feel for yourself uh, what's going on in the future of retailing. Bye for now.